A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. This is what Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A response to psalm will be, Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing into the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. May peace be within your walls, prosperity in your buildings. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Because of my relatives and friends, I will say, Peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will pray for your good. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord our God, let your face shine upon us, 
that we may be saved. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. He said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said in reply, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man subject to to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come here, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Amen. I say to you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I say to you, Many will come from the east and the west, and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please join me in the intentions for this Mass, for Mary Ducharme, and also for the intentions special intentions of Didi Brilagado. Please keep them and their families in our prayers. So we hear, again, now that we are in Advent, we've, we've gone through Christ the King, recognizing the glory that is God, that it is His creation. The gifts we receive as we've been celebrating our national holiday of Thanksgiving, we recognize all that God has done for us. The things we often take for granted, it's a time where we can step back and say, Thank you, Lord, for this and this and this, and for all those things that we sometimes will get in our minds some, somehow we were responsible for this, that we did this for ourselves. It gives us a step back so we can recognize that God has given us all these different things, and it's always for his great glory. And so we hear that we are being gathered, and it will not just be him coming only for the house of Israel, but people will be coming from the east and the west, as we hear in the example of the gospel today with the centurion, who had such great faith, a faith that Jesus had not found in his own homeland. One who understood authority, one who understood people who were followed, of kings and gods who were followed. And so it is a pause for us as we start this journey of Advent, as we move towards the manger, which the wood of the manger, and it'll take us to the wood of the cross to recognize two comings in our life, in our faith life, in our Christian life. So where in our own lives do we need to have that kind of faith, to recognize God's gifts in our lives, but also recognize that we rely on God, that we stay close to God, and that we will know what to ask for, and to do it in faith, so that we will receive what the Lord says will be best for us in our situation. So where and who in our lives do we need to recognize that faith? Spread the good gospel to all people that we meet, and how can we recognize that we are on this journey to Christmas by recognizing the Lord has come, the Lord is coming, and we will all be blessed. Let us stand for our petitions. At the start of our Advent season, we consider all the blessings in our lives and feel grateful for those who have provided them for us. And so we collect our thoughts and prayers in thanksgiving to a generous God and for all those who remain in need. For God's holy church, may it grow in holiness, peace, and humility, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for nations of the world blessed with abundance. May they share what they have been given so that all might prosper. And may they give glory to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all people during this season of Advent, to recognize those who will be lonely, those, especially our soldiers in foreign lands, those protecting our nations and their families, for those who have suffered in this past year the loss of a loved one, and for all families who are estranged from each other. May they feel God's love for them through the compassion of friends and neighbors, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, and of all of our prisoners, may we embrace the practice of gratitude in our daily lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who are sick, may they feel God's love for them through the compassion and care of friends and neighbors. And we especially pray for Vincent Mary, for Elaine Pollack, for Gabriella Vega, for Margarita and Geronimo Vega, and for Didi Rigaledo. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved dead, that they may come into God's kingdom of light and love and peace. And we especially pray for Evelyn Shalesky, former choir member, and those who are named in the Book of Remembrance for this month of November, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray that prayer that is in the quiet of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of abundant generosity, we thank you for the bountiful blessings you have poured down upon us. May we be inspired to such generosity in imitation of your Son, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise of which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy. 
Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. We especially remember the intentions for our Mass for Mary Ducharme. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Just as a reminder, as we now are uh, moving through Advent uh, uh, for our grouping of uh, the Adventists and uh, Parishes and Shield, uh, we will also be doing our group reconciliation services. Uh, we always have two of the parishes be host for it during Advent and two in Lent. Uh, we will be the first one hosting in this Advent. It'll be uh, tonight, Monday, the November the 29th at 7 p.m. in uh, the church. Uh, we will have a visiting priest also uh, for, uh, for confession. So please uh, consider, if that is not working for your schedule, then on Wednesday, December the 15th, uh, it will be hosted by St. Athanasius also at 7 p.m. So please consider uh, availing yourself of this sacrament during this blessed time. And if that does not work for your schedule, then always know that we have confessions available on Saturday uh, before the Vigil Mass from 3.30 to 4.30, 3.30 to 4.30. And we have moved our confessional out of the Cape Cod room and back into the confessional uh, for this Advent. And then also, if there's ever uh, none of those times work for you and you want confession, please contact Father Tony and myself 
and we can arrange a time whether we meet you in church uh, or at another time if you want more of a face-to-face. -face. So please know this is a time of expectation, but also a time of recognizing where we need to put ourselves in a better place so we can be forgiven and be receiving God's forgiveness and mercy. May you have a blessed day and a blessed Advent. Grace him for his grace and favor to his people in distress. Praise him still the same as ever, slow to chide and swift to bless. Alleluia, alleluia.